Aloha everyone, I am back. Figured I would come out and do some yard work after it rained a little bit on us. Um, and I remembered that the wax jumbo needed to, the air layer needed to be taken care of. Um, it's been on here about three months to the day. Um, I did another one on the branch below it here. Uh, I only left it on there for about a month and the roots were not developed enough it looks like so that one did not take i'm still praying that it might come back but not holding my breath this tree grows really fast so it's not that big of a deal i'm pruning off kind of these branches that are growing into my yard um that kind of like i don't have enough space for it so i figure try and make clones of it by air layering or marcotting however you pronounce it but here I just have one that's been on there for about three months. I have paper wrapped around it that comes in shipping just to keep the sun from drying out the roots. Um, I'm gonna grab some shears and cut it off and then I'll start a new air layer um, for you guys to see how it worked. But if you look here, you can already see there's pretty good root development on this. I don't know if I waited long enough or too long. So again, this is kind of an experiment. I've done it with citrus before and been successful. Um, and wax jambu is supposed to be easy, so. I'm gonna grab your shears. I'll just cut this off. So it looks like most of the root development was on one side versus the other. So we can put this, I think normally you'd want to drop it in a bucket of water right away, but we'll just um, grab some scissors. So of course I didn't get a pot ready to put this in. So maybe I'm just gonna sacrifice that other one's pot and take it over. Okay. Looks like roots grew right through that. So it's kind of what we're working with right now. It looks like a decent amount in comparison to the previous attempt. Okay, I'm back. My alarm went off. Made my video stop recording. Obviously, that's not ideal. So, I just have to start it again since I already cut this off. I'm gonna pot this now. I'm just gonna use the soil that it's sitting on, that ProMix. Um, add some cuttings in here that didn't take, so I'll just try and reuse the soil a bit. So, uh, unwrap this guy, see what it looks like. trying to show this and then not cut roots at the same time. Let's see if I can manage to not destroy this just for showing you guys. <clears throat> but, oh well, if that happens. So we got our root ball. So I'm not familiar if you're supposed to like take a bunch of leaves off or anything with this particular 
species. Um, I think that's what I did with the other one and it didn't really, it wasn't successful, so I don't know that that was something I should do. Okay. So here we go. Plant this guy, let's see what happens. So I just have a kind of a smaller pot for it because uh, hmm, maybe I'll put it in a bigger pot. Yeah. This one's got kind of sandy mix in it, so it's a little extra porous. I don't know if that's helpful, but I'm just going to... figure this out real quick. Having your supplies ready is probably better than trying to do it while you're doing it one-handed. But if you're going to do something wrong, you might as well do it on video for everyone to see how bad it is. Anyway, make a mess, get dirty, plant some stuff. So that, I think, is what I'm just going to do. I don't know if I should cut some tops off. Um, but I think leaving it in the shade is probably best. So I'll water that in a minute. I could do that right now. I'll just give it some of this rain water. And then let's set up another one. First, let's find me some more rainwater. Luckily, like, the day before yesterday, they just, like, dumped a ton of water on us. Rainwater is a little bit acidic, which is perfect for a lot of these tropical plants, because they, especially Java de Cabas, thrive with some acidic water. So let's try and set up another air layer. See that branch is kind of growing into the yard. That one doesn't need to stay there. It's kind of wonky, but we'll see what happens. We'll zoom in a little, see if that helps. Okay, so we got some Some peat moss, sphagnum moss, we're just going to add a little water, just get it moist and ready. And we uh, probably want to just prepare your bag. Just get any sort of bag that doesn't have holes in it. Usually it's best if it's got the clasp on top. And then 
not too wet, just a little moist. Get the moss in there. You just want to kind of pack it pretty good. I'm not going to really add any more later. You want it to be somewhat moist, but not too, too wet. I might have added a little bit too much water there, but we'll just squeeze out some. All right, that's a pretty good, pretty good root ball. So you need to be able to like get the top closed. So I have this like trail marking tape. It's definitely not ideal. I just, the theme is reusing crap that's laying around my house in the garage. So, no, I mean in video. There you go. Let me tie the top off. This stuff's not strong, so it'll just break if I pull it too tight. So it's more of just a suggestion to stay closed more than anything. Okay, another long video of unnecessary struggles and commentary. And I'll tie in that one more time. Now we got our bag of soil, or soil-free growing medium, rather. Okay. Now that you got your soil, get your scissors. Wipe all the crap that you spilled all over it off. Rubbing alcohol to clean, sanitize. Wipe it on a dirty shirt again, and then sanitize again. And now I got paper towel. Oh, here comes the rain again. Okay, so now we have this clean. Do this before the rain destroys my phone. Let's pick a spot we want to set up the air layer, and then go to town. So I'm using the scissors to cut the outer stuff, cambium bark. So I'm just gonna choose like right here. So I just do it, cut around, and then a couple inches long maybe, or more, more or less. Cut again. vice grips we were talking about. You want those groove teeth. They make it kind of nice. Give it a little alcohol spray. Okay. Somewhat clean. Again, we're kind of just throwing stuff at the wall and seeing if this sticks. So I use this to kind of pinch and squeeze and then twist, and it just kind of breaks off that section that you cut. Like so. And then you make sure you go all the way around and you have all of it off. Once you have it all off, you continue using this to rough up the edges and get the for roots to kind of come from, I guess. Don't ask me if it's true. It's just what I did and what they say to do. So, again, if it kills this branch, doesn't matter. I was going to prune it off anyway. These trees grow really fast and 
pretty big. So it's a little big for the area. So now that you got that part, get your bag, something punky, pokey. You just cut a line in the soil. Get your tape handy. And with the tight end facing upward, just kind of like squeeze it around it. Make sure you're covering the spot that you exposed. And then you lash it up. And with this, it's again, this tape is kind of crap. It's not really meant to be tying things up. It's more quantity over anything to make sure that it stays good. And I'm not using any rooting hormone this time. I guess I could have. I don't think you need to on this. On a lot of them you don't, but I guess we'll find out if it doesn't work. So I'm just kind of going over everything, making sure it sits where I want it to. board taping it up and move on. And that's what I'm doing. I just twisted it upward so that the whatever liquid was in there kind of stays in I guess. I don't know. That's fine. I don't really care that much. Let's see if it works though. So I just have some of this paper I'm just gonna keep the sun off of the potential roots with. And then maybe this tree will end up at a friend's house driving. <clears throat> if we're lucky, it'll work. And that's how you take something like that and then it turns into something like this. So now that we're done with that, I'll add the rest of the water. Find somewhere shady to put that. And that's me Throwing a lazy attempt of an air layer graft or air layer um, clone of the wax jambu. They also call it kind of like a mountain apple, but it's, I don't think it's the same thing. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. This time it's not an hour long video, so you don't have to, I don't know, sit through it and click away. But anyway, you have a good one. Enjoy. I'll come at you with another video soon with probably more plenty of stuff. Have a good one.